besides getting a flank, right? So unlike a Leona, unlike a Rel that can really get onto this back line consistently, Annie's going to have a lot harder time setting up for the Ziggs. So it's going to be much more flank reliant from Kisei, from Biopanther yeah. to actually get favorable fights for the Chiefs. Also, Def dives just accelerate the game because they, like we mentioned before, they do need to stay ahead of the tempo of this game. Yeah, let's talk about what you mentioned before in Champion Select as well of the of the Ziggs as a champion. They might hold the conversation for Liv who's getting ganked. Certainly may have to hold that for a second there is. Look at that. Durenekton's starting into a fantastic punch from the Vibe and it's just too easy. Coming top lane this early on uh, into the mix. So very nicely done actually by Babip and by the Chiefs. If you talk about the importance of physical damage, well, they're in trouble now. There it is. That's the TP back to lane. The flash match perfectly there. Why not? He's not going to miss that one. He's certainly not going to deny what is a, a kill and retaliation. The top of the mid lane talent pool, as we see this solo kill once again. I mean, the ignite being there for the LeBlanc probably going to be a factor here. It seems like a very straightforward kill. Electrocute timing just with an auto attack. Cheeky ignite in there. Very well done by him, but realistically, that solo killer you typically see go for his defensive options of the ultimate coming out, Skimmy. Yeah, he's certainly looking for this one shot in retaliation wrong one. himself. He wrong needs one. it. Which one is it? Oh, oh he's no. gonna die he chose the wrong. Unbelievable. Daystar has just broken his ankles, broken his mental, and he's got a 2 0 lead in mid lane. Meanwhile, Aladoric just sneaks to the cheeky kill bot lane with Ignite. Maybe just the moment coming into this one has found Hello. the most solo kills, and now we might find ourselves. A duo kill in the bot lane. So much CC laid on to Benby. And he might actually just walk away. Babbit might die. Bomb goes Babbit's across. dead. Babbit in trouble. Lemus flashing forward. Ooh. And he just misses the chain of corruptions. That has to be evaded with a flash of his own. Delayed claims. But Lemus is no still flash. pressing forward. He might find another. My God, that was it. close. My Look God. Look how low they both are. All four members. About 20%. There could be dies. There could be a lot of action that happens. But the Chiefs are aware of this. They are certainly aware, Daystar, you're not allowed to face check us. If you try oh. and run away, it's an ult! Make it two right on your head. Good luck trying to distort out of that one. You might have won mid lane, but you're definitely not influencing this bot lane. And why not was here? Didn't get a chance. If he gives, particularly for Kisei, his flanking ability, I would say in terms of side laning, as hold that thought. Hold oh, that indeed. Yeah, we're all in for this one, aren't we? A flash from Tibbers afterwards. And thankfully for Ace, he's the one to get the killing blow. Babip has been protecting this bot lane like a concerned parent. Teleport. But it is working out tenfold. There is one of those teleports that we literally just mentioned moments ago. Why not force to completely run away? He doesn't get a chance to use that ult. Area as well. They've put their bodies straight on the line here. So they are looking for this. You can see sitting in the base is Raze. Teleport's going to come through. TP number two, as you say. Babbit Here we go. Out. Looking for the full fight. Aladoric has run himself. Ooh, no more mana left. Explosive cast onto free. Bio jumps across the wall and tries to force them to come at him. Dominus, the HP buffer wasn't big enough. The big red bomb, that's there. The explosive auto attack empowered enough to take out Daystar and Liv just holding on for dear life in the back line there. Kisei takes him down, more gold in his pocket that he so sorely needs. Lemus across the wall. He can chuck out some arrows, but he does want to back up his team. His team are being pushed away. A flash from Benvi. A chance across the wall for Lemus to strike. And strike he does so ever so well. And that dragon is just watching it the entire time. What lanes, right? We saw with that mid lane play, Daystar shoves the top wave, has priority into Kisei, moves down as they call Babip. They certainly have caught Babip. The Cyclone 1 is there. The jump across the wall denied. Lemus with the arrow piercing in its oh, nature. Oh, oh my god, lived with the Boomba. He just gets it done. You can stun me, Annie, but no one's here to back you up. The turret. Bio. One HP. The buyer's not interested. It's not a safe space. They can kill the turret and dive. Okay, here we go. Renekta 1v4. Have you seen this narrative play on through? He's slicing and dicing and looking for the kill. Lemus, where are you going? Across the wall. He survived by a hair's breath. Waves, and then Bliss can sort of bring their pressure, drag it towards his top side of the map and look for this added turret. But Envy, completely isolated, flashes across the wall inside the river. Just Kate, so much damage. Taken out there by Babbit, but the retaliation from Why Not is absurd. Look at that with R2 of the Cyclone. Finds a double kill. Case in point, right? That's exactly what we're going to see happen. Aaron has to be forgotten about, but those AP threats, they're gone. Still locked in the jungle. Now we've got our sights set on this mid lane, and it's all about Kiste. What can he do with his wrist maker? Fully charged up. Flash is a little bit too late. And by Panther pays the crime. He dies for it, and somehow, uh, quite exciting so far. 3k up in this game, only 25 minutes in.
And it is TB constantly forcing Chiefs to face check that Baron. Are we on it? You don't quite know. Is Sot and Battery in? They start across the Baron. wall. And Fabbit might just die. Same play, same place, and the same outcome. Two kills found. Bio at least takes down Daystar in the process. So a one for two. Still going against them. Never. They're stuck. They're just stuck. I mean, Raze is locked in the mid lane. He's not here to back them up right now. So Bio has to turn around and say 1v3. I've got the Gore Drinker. I want to try and live for as long as I can. Lemus just hits him with an arrow to the knee. Sliver Renekton. Edge of Night has to hit the Q here if you want a shot. Here we go. Edge of Night pops and, uh, well, that's what happens. When you anger the Chiefs, four members collapse upon you. You could be the most fed member in the game as we saw from that total gold graph, but it doesn't matter when you're in that floor pop. Uh, goes Tibbers one more time. Liv just finds the kill onto Annie. Who's going to kill Liv? And now Babib is forced to run away. Their engage options are limited. And Liv is a bit of a juggernaut. It's a bit of a full tank Gragas. He does actually complete the Rabadons outright, just sitting on the rock beforehand. Eight stacks in the Dark Seal as well, so he's still packing a fair bit of damage. And then we go again, right by this spot, in towards the Baron. Look at the amount of burst just bombed on their head. Why not? Falls on down, despite all the magic resistance. He will find his first death in this oh. game. There it is with the Shuriken flip back in. And Kisse on Akali. He finds those ways in. And we didn't see the start of it, Skimmy, but that is a huge flip for the Chiefs. The game was just getting worse and worse, but suddenly I'm going to walk over now. But it's already 6k. Can they go for the steal? Bio's going to be late. He's not going to be here. It's going to be a 4v5. In he comes now with a TP. The Baron held at 3.4k. The fight starts. And that's a root on towards Bio. That's a slam dunk onto Why Not. Babbitt trying to do whatever he can to remove Liv. The Blast Code gets oh. him out for free. I don't believe it. That was their kill target. They're still going to look for the rest of these plays, right? They have to bring Bio Pants. And we've spoken about the composition of the Chiefs and how Bliss can build magic resistance as they are hitting the Baron. 6k HP. There's a Ziggs bomb that can be chained with the Vice Might. Keep that in mind. Yeah, there certainly is a lot of on-demand burst damage as the bomb's gone out. Toys, they've tried to steal it. Babbitt just dies instantly. Burst out of oblivion by Daystar's LeBlanc. We're at that point of the game now, level 16. The damage is a little bit incurable. And why not finds himself another shutdown? This Wukong is out of control. Yeah, two Baron and two kills to go as well. Bliss once again doing such a... Realistically, the Mikhail's is there now though. Uh, but the fact that Lemus has it, Void Stuff's mandatory. It's really cool. Yeah, why not? Put the unfazed, just jumps onto Babbitt's head and says, here you okay. go, death number nine. It was always going to be a rough affair for Babbitt playing this fight. Well, looking like we're primed and ready to go to try and end that game. Mega Inferno Bomb used on the wave coming in from the south side. Uh, it's Biopamper, he slices and dices in, looks to try and find his target with the flash stun. And they're buying as much time as they can. I mean, look at the health bars of Team Bliss so far. They're getting lower and lower by the second. Enough so. Got GA, he's incredibly tanky. Yeah, and Bio, Bio. Bio also has to entertain the idea of those flanking threats. Three members went towards him, but then why not jumps into the back line and looks to lock in place. Oh, Everybody, the Cyclone is just doing a little bit too much. Daystar comes in and just destroys Aladoric. Never really stood a chance. And I was curious to see how Team Bliss would set up. Would they dance around it, knowing that these super... Teleport comes through. It is a tank, so they will not care to deal with it. But it's a tank with an Elder, and Kisse is gone. Yeah, Kisse gone, dying to that tank. Greg is a little bit too strong, doesn't matter the automization. Flex pick for a reason, Babbitt across the wall! He's tried to be the hero. 50-50 once again, but why not too clean with it? And this should now be that final nail in the coffin. There's a helping hand there from the Gragas. <laughs> get back to base. Get out of here. And get yourself into draft number two, because this one is a done deal. It's a valiant effort, but all game, Team Bliss just coming out on top in every fight, every skirmish. Walking down with Baron in hand, Sol in hand, Elder in hand. Gonna hand Chiefs the first loss of this series. That they most certainly are. If nothing more, we could potentially have three games on the cards for a second time tonight.